Hello traders, it's Tomek here and welcome in my weekly Forex forecast. Market is still slow unfortunately, so we still have options only for intraday trading and um, scalping. We still don't have any any good opportunities for the swing traders, for uh, long term or mid term traders. Uh, so let's check what we have. The first pair is Aussie dollar US dollar. If we pay attention to weekly chart, we are on the 36 CMA uh, close uh, right now. Price almost touched this. Uh, and uh, if we pay attention to resistance level, we have here. So there is still option that price might continue to go up to reach this resistance and then maybe we'll see the reaction. Uh, we also have trend line here. Uh, so this is good level for price to, to, to reach and then maybe then see reaction and potential continuation. But we are already on the good zone because it's, it's a 36 CMA, which um, in our case acts as a resistance level. So we might still also get bounce here without this bigger retracement and continuation of this down move. Maybe to pre pre previous lows, we don't know. If we pay attention to monthly chart, um, we still we still see that uh, the lowest points are here, so there is still room to continue to go down. But uh, we don't know yet. We uh, we will see. It's difficult to say right now. So let's let's look for the uh, lower time frames. This is our daily chart. We see that price is making double top here with the with those previous false breakouts. So it's, it it also this area acts like a resistance. Um, we also have this trend line here, so we see that price right now is stuck in this in this wedge. Uh, plus, if we would like to draw, there is support level. Yeah, so basically we can use this line, but because we also have support zone, we don't have to draw it. Yes. Uh, so generally, uh, we see that price is between those two levels. So if we would like to trade in um, more conservatively, we wait for breakouts of those of this resistance and support zone, and then we look for buys with another target, which is 150 pips, and then and then next trend line or breakout of those lows, and then we continue to go down. In case if you would like to go down, this is our next support zone. Yes, uh, here. So you need to pay attention to this level so 150 pips so the good target next area where price might to stop could be here yeah so we have those levels we can know uh, how to trade so basically if we if if we would like to trade in the swing tra trading on the high, higher time frames yes we need to wait for breakouts we cannot trade in this small area here yes basically here we can only trade on the lower time frame so how we can trade here in, in the lower time frames uh, we see that price didn't exactly touch this previous support level uh, but it made double bottom on the four hour chart right now is pointing up so if we like to trade in the middle of the range because we are in the middle of, of the range I personally would like to trade always on the resistance or support zone yes this is what I prefer to trade in the range but in the middle we can also try we need to understand that this is a little bit aggressive approach, but if we have volatility, uh, as long as we have volatility, we can we can trade this. So we have four hour chart trend line breakout right now. So what we can do, uh, we can switch to lower time frames. And the first option is to get like confirmation from the higher time frame. So it will be like one hour chart and then Yes, if you get one hour chart, one to three, you can look for a lower time, uh, one hour chart entries target this resistance or lower time frame entries after one hour chart, one to three. But there is also option because price is breaking our line. Uh, we can aggressively, we can look for uh, lower time frame entries. Yes, like 15 minute, one to three right now. Yes, I said aggressive because if you pay attention, we have one hour chart resistance level here. Yes. So that's why if we get one hour chart one to three, we will have like confirmation. If we get situation right now, like on the 15 minute chart, then we will set up might be uh, might appear below this small resistance level. So that's why this is uh, ag aggressive approach, but still okay. Yes, still okay to try low risk as long as we understand what we do. It's okay to try. This is our trend line. So ideally, yes, some bounces on the 36 or on the trend line. Yes, and then look for, for buys. If you get set up here, then it will be like confirmation. Okay, it's like breakout, retest, and possible continuation. Yes, so this is what we have on the Aussie dollar, US dollar. Euro Aussie, 
We discussed this pair last week, uh, as you see, and we said, okay, about pos possible reactions on this on this support level because of the double bottom and then bigger retracement back to this resistance. Uh, right now, it looks like price is not. Uh, may, it's not. It's not going to this level. It's. It's like bouncing on the on the um, 12 EMA. So it looks like a like a sh short one to three. Of course, in the range because we don't have lower lows here. So um, it's like kind of of the range. Next level is here. Also, our trend line is here. This is our top down approach from previous week. Yes, we see that price is spiking here, but still can continue to go. To go uh, to go lower. So uh, again, intraday trading only. Of course, uh, more conservative traders can wait for breakouts. Yes, can wait for breakouts here or here, and then you start to look for buys or looking for sells. Also for the bounce traders, you look for the support. Then you try to look for long entries, or here you try to look for short entries. Of course, together with the with the breakouts. Or if you would like to trade right now, scalpers, intraday traders, we have our trendline breakout. Yes. So what we do, we go to lower time frames because our target is limited. It's here. Still good target because 150 pips. And we have same story like on the Aussie dollar, US dollar. We can wait for the one hour chart, one to three. And then we look for setups here um, and target this. Yes. So this is one, uh, this is first option. Second option, of course, is. 15 minute or five minute right now price is breaking our trend line so what we have to see is 15 minute one two three here we trace them back to the 36 back to the trend line and then we pay attention uh for sell euro chf uh, still same story nothing really changed last week was uh in the range, uh, so we still wait. Yes, I just want to give you a sh short um, update. Our lines are still in the same zone, in the good uh, good level. Price didn't move much. Of course, we know, okay, in case of a breakout of this, price might to go down to this support level here. I don't know why this line moved. Yes, we have this uh, some support level. In case of the breakout or bounces, this is resistance, 36, and another trend line. So we still wait. This is our daily trend line. We still wait for breakouts of this area. And of course, here we look for buy entries, target resistance. Here, late short entries. And of course, target this uh, support. Yes, here we can have like a possible trend change on the daily and then maybe bigger retracement on the weekly chart. This area here for continuation, but of course, late entry, because if you pay attention to weekly chart, price already moved like 500 pips uh so this will be late entry but still with the main direction because price is is, is pointing down so still uh can continue to go uh lower euro gbp is another pair and uh, what we have on the weekly chart is um a long one to three on the week weekly chart we see this i hope yes we have this move and retracement, yeah. So we have like one, one long one to three uh, bounce on the 36. So this is what we would like to see. So let's find if price is going up. Let's find a resistance. This is our resistance number one, and our resistance number two. Uh, support zone was here where price exactly exactly bounced yes and now right now it's pointing up uh, we don't have any trend lines here we can try to draw this but it's only with the two spikes so we don't have much uh, maybe lower time frames like daily chart will if we have more details yes we will see okay we have uh, this trend line here so perfect yes yeah, so we can say okay this is our line. We discussed this pair, by the way, in case of the breakout, we would like to focus on, on the longs. Uh, and right now we have this breakout. Uh, let's try to find another resistance. But for me, uh, this is, yes, this is the next uh, strong next resistance level. Yes. Um, so we still have room uh, to go. What we can do, we can say, for example, daily retracements, and then we look for long buy entries target this resistance uh, area. Or we go to lower time frames. Right now, uh, we see that uh, price is going up. So what we uh, right now is retracing, but basically 
uh, this main main move was uh, was up. We wait for some retracements. We don't have any trend line here on the four hour chart. Only this, uh, like a volatility trend line. Uh, so retracement back to this trend line or a little bit deeper back to the 36 EMA. And whenever you get the four hour chart one to three, uh, this is your call to look for buys. Yeah. So you can also take it on the four hour chart if if you like. Um, of course, as long as this trend line is holding, we would still focus on the buy uh, entries. Yeah? So, so right now buys, one hour chart, because uh, it's not visible yet, but if we have situation that price will hold the 36 EMA, and we'll get this one hour chart, one to three. You can look for long entries after this line breakout, but only on the lower time frames like five minute chart. Yes, five minute or maybe one minute chart after breakout of this of this line. Yes. Uh, we can also check if there is any trend line on the one hour chart, and on the one hour chart is exactly the same what we have on the four uh, hour chart. Yes. So also maybe this might happen so yeah, definitely uh focus is for buys so whenever you get some retracements and you look for breakouts of the two to three line this is your call to start to look for uh buy entries uh cable what we have uh we have levels from pre previous week we have resistance we have uh this this trend line here uh, we have this uh, support level. If in, in in case if we go to to, to weekly chart, we'll see also uh, those uh, this 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 next level right now. After making the short weekly one to three price is going down. So uh, we had trend line here, and after breakout, we had this first uh, not easy to spot, but we had the first setup to look for short entries. Entry here. Stop loss above, quite big, 120 pips, but, but right now 280 uh, points in profits, if it's in profits. So this was good option. Uh, and because right now it will be a little bit too late to look for the four hour chart. If we are interested to still jump in on the four hour, we need to see retracement back to 36 on the daily and then start to look for the four hour chart short entries and target this support zone. Yes. But if we get volatility on the four hour chart and we'll see retracement back to the 36 CMA, yes, if we see situation like this, then we can look definitely for short entries on the lower time frames, like one hour chart or uh, 15 minute, five minute here, and target next support zone, which might be like 150 pips. Uh, and this is what I would like to get, but also if you if you see, because maybe we'll get a even bigger vol or, or higher volatility. If you see situation, yes, that price is breaking this line, then five minute, 15 minute also possible, yes? Because we have one, two, three, almost four touches on this trend line. So price might not exactly retrace higher, but will struggle here and then after breakout you can start to look for short entries uh here uh new zealand yen this is per only to trade in the range uh right now uh if we pay attention to weekly chart we have this resistance uh area uh we have another support on the previous spikes uh, but we don't have clean movement right now. Uh, if we if we look for trend line, this is our trend line. Yes, so okay, main direction is still for sell, but price is in, in the range. So if you like to trade in the range, this range is like 250 pips. So if we pay attention to the resistance, this is our resistance. If we pay attention to support, this will be our support area. So, yeah, so it's clean range right now. So we don't care about EMAs because our EMAs works only in the trend. So how we can do it, what we can do it, we can stay, we can look for short entries here or breakouts, yes. And right now, long entries here or breakouts. Yes, this is this is option uh, when we trade in the range. How we can trade in this range? Uh, in the conservative way, we wait for breakout of the of the one hour chart uh, trend line, and whenever we get one hour chart one to three, we start to look for uh, buy entries and target. Of course, try to target this. 
Uh, in the range, sometimes you need to pay attention to the 50% uh, to uh, manage your positions, yes? To manage your positions. So, you, okay, you have this, you wait for one, two, threes, you manage on uh, around the 50%, and then in case of the breakout, uh, you look for this, because what sometimes happens, price is going to 50%, started to range or false breakout, and then it's going down again to retest again, support zone. Exactly like we had here. You see, price went up, a little bit range, false breakout, and went went down. And we always have kind of the reaction of the 50%. Yeah. So that's why this is a good area to manage. If you don't see setups, for example, but you will see, okay, price is going down again, uh, you just wait again for situation that price will be close to support zone, because maybe you will have option that price will just retrace and bounce and will go and retest again the support zone yes so if you if you have this situation you just uh, you will just adjust your trend line and you can say okay after changing trend line i still wait for breakouts of this new line or support or another option more aggressive uh, you don't wait for any trend line breakouts but if you if you if you look for uh, for example you can wait for double bottom here and then after first white candle you enter and put stop loss below or uh, like with the classic one to three you you look for the higher low and then you enter to target uh, this this uh, resistance and the next one yeah so this is option to trade in this in in the range and the last is oil and oil uh, I think this one stopped because it looks uh let me just reload the the screen because i think oil looks differently okay guys sorry but unfortunately i won't show you uh i won't show you oil i don't know why but it doesn't work uh right now on uh, on this broker um i see the screen on on other brokers so so let me just drag and drop okay Okay, I have I have different brokers right now, so so now we can we can check. Uh, uh, so we are still, of course, in the downtrend, definitely yes. But like we said, uh, a retracement might happen back to 36 CMA weekly short one to three, and then con continuation. Uh, definitely, it's possible. Uh, if we pay attention, we have a little bit of the resistance here. Price broke our 36 CMA, and last week we said that if we have breakout of this small wedge, we can look for uh, long entries or short entries. Yes, and right now price broke it. So what we wait, what we would like to see is the long for our chart one to three, <clears throat> then entries on the four hour chart or lower time frames. Area to manage is here. Even if you see that price is reaching this, you can look for retracements and then, yes, at, but, and still tar, uh, target that. If you get breakout of this trend line, you look for short entries, definitely. If you go to one hour chart, you, here you had the first setup, by the way. Yes, this was your first entry after breakout. Yes, nice entry here, stop loss, uh, 100 points right now, 200 points, 215 profits. 400 target, so this is also good. Uh, if you like to scalp intraday trading, you have to wait right now for one hour chart retracements here, and then of course lower time frame entries and target this resistance. Yes. Uh, so that's all for uh, for now, guys. Um, I wish you all great trading week. Stay safe. If you have any questions, feel free to contact uh, us. I wish you all a wonderful week and good trades and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.